During the design of columns in an RCC structure, we need to classify them into three categories based on the types of loading. These three categories are axially loaded columns, uniaxially loaded columns, and biaxially loaded columns. In this video, we will explore these three types of columns and discuss how to determine whether a column in a building is axially loaded, uniaxially loaded, or biaxially loaded. So let's get started. Let us start with the first type that is axially loaded columns. This type of columns are relatively rare. So the question is when we are finding this type of column in building frame. Let us try to find the answer of this question by considering a symmetrical building frame subjected to uniformly distributed load of same intensity. In this building frame, consider an interior column C5 which is supporting beam B3, B4, B9 and B10. As these four beams are of same size and span and carrying same load from floor slab, there will be no unbalanced moment on both sides of the column. Therefore, the column C5 can be categorized as axially loaded column. This we can also verify in bending moment diagram computed using StatPro software. Therefore, in practice, the interior column of multi-story building like C6 with symmetrical load from floor slab from all sides can be a common example of this type. If eccentricities of gravity loads in both the directions of the column like C7 are very less, then they are neglected in design calculations and the column is assumed as axially loaded column. The clause 25.4 of IS code, however, ensures that the design of such columns is sufficiently conservative to enable them to be capable of resisting nominal eccentricities in loading. IS456-2000 gives the design methodology for this type of column. The clause 39.3 suggests the equation to design the column when the minimum eccentricity as per clause 25.4 does not exceed 0.05 times the lateral dimension. Now let us see the second type that is uniaxially loaded columns. When the axial load is acting at an eccentricity E from the column center along any one axis only, then it is called as uniaxially loaded columns or axially loaded column with uniaxial moment. Sometimes when a column is subjected to an axial load with a moment about any one axis that is either major axis or minor axis, then also the column is in this category. So when we are finding this type of column in building frame, let us try to find the answer of this question by considering a same building frame which is earlier used to understand the axial loaded column. In this, consider the column C4 which is connected by three beams B1, B2 and B9. The beam B1 and B2 with same span are connected along the same axis but on opposite side of the column. Therefore, the effect of the moment on column C4 due to beam B1 and B2 will be zero. But on the other side of the column, only beam B9 is connected and no beam is on opposite side to balance the moment caused by beam B9. Hence, moment will act on the column due to B9 along the beam line. This we can verify in bending moment diagram computed using StatPro software. In practice, frequently in the column of a building structure, the eccentricity about one axis is negligible, whereas the eccentricity about the other axis is significant. 
This situation is encountered in the exterior columns of interior frames in building like C2, C5, C8 and C10 under gravity loads. The column like C7 can also be uniaxially loaded column if the eccentricity along beam B5 and B6 is significant due to unbalanced moment. But under lateral loads like wind or seismic, indeed all columns in multi-storied building are subjected to significant uniaxial bending moment. Such columns are also falls into this category. IS456-2000 gives the design methodology for this type of column. The clause 39.5 suggests the use of interaction chart given in SP16 for the simplified design. In these charts, the curves for PU by FCKBD versus MUU by FCKBD square are plotted for different values of P by FCK where P is the reinforcement percentage. Now let us move to third type that is biaxially loaded columns. When a column is subjected to an axial load with a moment about both major axis and minor axis or load will act at an eccentricity of EX from major axis and EY from minor axis, then we can say the column is axially loaded with biaxially moment. Let us try to understand this by considering a same building frame which is earlier used in the previous section. In this, consider a corner column C1 which is connected to beam B7 and B2 along x-axis and y-axis respectively. As the moment caused by both the beams are not balanced on the other sides, the column C1 will be subjected to biaxial moment. Similar, all other corner columns will also subjected to biaxial moment due to same situation. This we can see in the bending moment diagram obtained through three-dimensional frame analysis in StatPro software. In practice, these type of columns are common in corner columns like C1, C4, C9 and C12 with beams rigidly connected at right angles on the top of the column. The columns like C3 and C11 can also be categorized in biaxial loaded columns if the loading eccentricities due to unbalanced moment in both directions are significant. IS456-2000 gives the design methodology for this type of column. The clause 39.6 suggests the use of interaction chart given in SP16 for the simplified design which is based on Bresler's formulation for the load contour. If you found this video helpful, give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more design insights. Drop your queries or experiences with column types in the comments below and we might feature them in our next video. Until then, keep learning.